Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 1 states, Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. The moral of that scripture is, Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, it is about that time for the word. I'm going to ask if uh, Exhorter Carolyn Prime would stand at this time. Amen. And I promise I'm not going to say anything embarrassing, sweetie. <laughs> you know, when parents get up to talk about kids, the one thing they worry about is, is my mother going to say anything to embarrass me? No, 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 baby. I'm not going to say anything to embarrass you. Not going to even talk about how cute you was as a baby and how humble and quiet and meek you were as a baby and how I can get you to do anything if I just had some french fries. That's it. You know, I thank God for her. Amen. And I give God the glory in Jesus' name. And the one thing I know is what she's going to give you today is going to be from God. Amen. I can remember when this child first gave her first message. Amen. <laughs> I can remember and she preached this message so well I was over the youth department and the church decided that they were going to have a youth Sunday so they wanted me to put together a program for the youth so I asked the pastor's daughter and I asked my daughter to put together a 15 minute word and to speak it for that Sunday well they did it and this girl she spoke a word so well. She broke it all the way down to when she was in the playground at school. And how God would be speaking to her while she was on the playground. The message was so well. Everybody thought that I wrote it for her. I'm here to tell you. I was shocked. I didn't write none of this word. I don't know when this child done this. But she did it and it was well put together. I'm talking about Carolyn K. Prime. Our youth exhorter. Amen. And I would not let her do this if I didn't trust what was in her. This young lady was such a great speaker that the jurisdiction was going to make her the youth director. Well, at this particular time, she was running away from home and she had gotten pregnant. I pulled her down in ministry because I wanted her to speak the life that she lived. And if she did not live that particular type of life, I was not going to practice hypocrisy through the children. So I pulled her down. So today will be the first time I've heard her speak in a very long time. I want to thank my mother for the um, loving words that she sat upon um, my arrival. And um, they really touched me deeply. And... <laughs> Honestly, it's just like mother and daughter because she pretty much gave up my whole sermon almost. And um, the key point to what she was saying was honoring. Um, being that this is Youth Sunday, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm going to keep a simple message. And so with a simple message, I have a simple scripture. Um, my scripture today it's coming from Exodus 20 and 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord God has given you. That's simple. And it's a scripture that people take lightly. And you think about it and you think, what is honoring thy mother and thy father? Is it basically going to school and becoming a doctor or whatever so then you can buy your mom the big house she always wanted the car she always worried about and everything um 
honoring your mother and your father is simply saying when it comes to things that you know that needed to be done there is no reason why your parents should have to come to you and tell you to do certain things being that it's mother's day i wanted to focus more on the mothers because without mothers some of us wouldn't really be here today i for one can attest to that there are some of us um, youth i'm really speaking out to the youth now but there are some of you who should be real lucky about the mothers that you have and they don't take the whole honor thy mother thing very seriously matter of fact and i just want to go off with some of the mothers in the bible for instance there was um saul's mother hannah saul became a great king and he actually did a lot of great work with the lord yet because of his jealousy that he had for um david he let all of that mess up with the relationship that he had with god and which seems like not a big deal but the fact is his mother prayed specifically just for him and he was a blessed child yet because he forgot that honor and the loyalty that he had for family values he let it get it to his head and he lost everything that he ever could have another example um ruth and naomi ruth had a, her own mother which um i know in the bible doesn't really state much about ruth's um natural mother but naomi was just her mother-in-law when you honor that mother and father doesn't just pertain to the mother and father that you have a lot of you on second life have adopted um mothers in a game that you've come to know and love and those are just like spiritual mothers for you they worry about you the way your real mothers do they take care of you they um offer insight ask how you are and you don't take that kind of uh, things for granted i know a lot of you today when y'all came on second life y'all didn't just worry about the gifts y'all were getting your real mother you came on second life and was like well, what kind of gift i'm gonna give my mom today when i get on naomi was not ruth's real mother but when naomi said she was gonna go ruth said take me with you whatever you say i will do whatever god you praise that's be my god because her loyalty and faith and ruth i mean and naomi was that strong and by her honoring her and having faith that as her mother real realistic spiritual or not that she would never lead her wrong in any situation look how far she prospered she not only became a woman that was able to obtain a successful husband but she was also a great descendant of Jesus Christ himself the the seed that was planted ahead of time that was going to nurture and to what became our savior today you never know what you might miss out on of your blessings just by simply dishonoring your parents as my mother said before i was um a very unruly child growing up and i still have my flaws now i have to admit i get a little hard-headed sometimes and thick but all in all in the end parents were put here to guide us and lead us to do the right things and in the right way now there are some parents out there who need a little more help than others and there are some parents out there who are actually really bad but yet it is our job as not just their children but children in Christ to honor them and do what's right i'm not saying if they told you to do something bad then go ahead and follow it but show them the proper respect that's owed to them you never know exactly what it is that your parents go through every day just to make sure that you have everything that you've ever wanted to obtain in life there's this um one woman in the bible that my mom used to talk about a lot um the virtuous woman and this woman would get up at the crack of dawn and she would pray over and watch over her family early in the morning and get up and she would cook breakfast for her family and before she even feed herself she would make sure that they was fed 
and then she tended to her duties around the house a lot of you have mothers like that women who go from place to place and pray and make sure that every all of your needs are tended to before they even think about themselves the least you can do is make sure you have enough time to honor them simply by doing what's right show them how much you appreciate them because they're they're not always going to be around there's people today who can't be with their mother and wish they had someone they can tell happy mother's day to and hug on and everything but they don't have that I think as youth in this not just this church but all around it is our duty to make sure that we are leading by an example you if you go somewhere and you're in a room full of um other people older people what right do you have to be sitting down before them the things that they've already done in life to achieve get up give them your seat open the doors for them show them that you have the proper respect that you was born and raised with and also for our church mothers they are just like mothers as well there are spiritual mothers they shouldn't have to um, go behind church and tell you what you're supposed to say in church you know not to come in church with your pants all sagging um, music blasting cursing and everything that's just wrong you would you would treat those mothers in a church just as you would treat your natural mother because you know for sure that she would be ashamed and sad knowing that you treated someone else with the proper well not the proper respect that she would show her and like I said I'm just gonna keep this simple so basically honor your parents show respect and just show that you are appreciative and never forget all the things that they've done for you because without a lot of these mothers some of you would not even be here today and I don't want that I can say that to you and with that said I know my mother wanted to come up behind me and say some other things but um, I want to thank you all for allowing me to come up here and exhort myself on Youth Sunday and I'm looking forward to bringing more youth to the church so that we can expand this and I hope all you mothers out there, real, paternal, maternal, spiritual, guiding, whatever, I hope you all have a happy Mother's Day. And that somewhere out there, there is someone who is initially grateful for everything that you've ever done for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you enjoy what she had to say? If you did, give her another applause. Can you all hear me? I'm local now. You may have to point at me to hear me. Can you all hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No, y'all can't. Hallelujah. Did you enjoy what she had to say? I hope it was enough. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, let's get everybody up to the altar at this time. We're getting ready to get out of here. Amen. On your way to the altar, I want to thank um, Double Trouble Video Production, who videotapes our midday worship service. Amen. We thank them for it. He finished our first video. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Now let's go to the altar and let's say a prayer. After the prayer is over, please begin to start fellowshipping with each other. I will say amen. Once I say amen, I need you to start fellowshipping with each other. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get to the altar. If you can't walk.